We're now going to have a look at outline numbering. Outline numbering allows you to set up the text on the page into an organized system of headings and subheadings, as you can see here. We've got some headings, 3.1 formatting, 3.2 referencing, and with each one of those sections, you've got some subsections, and those subsections can also have sub subsections if you like. We use the usual format bullets and numbering system for this. And you'll be familiar with using the bulleted tab to set up your uh, bulleted lists and the numbered tab to set up your numbered lists. You've probably also used the customize buttons to help you decide what font to use, what number style to use. But what people often miss are these little buttons and facilities at the bottom, the number position and the tab space and indent and aligned. The reason these are useful is because they help you line up your text and numbers across the page. Quite often when you're on the second line of writing, it goes across the left-hand margin when your first line has been indented and it just looks all a little bit untidy. So to stop that from happening, you can adjust the position of your numbers and you can see in the preview window what is happening there. And you can also adjust the indents and tab spaces to get everything lined up just how you want it to be. But that's not really what we're looking at. We are looking at outline numbered. So I'll select that tab. Works in exactly the same way. I'll choose um, this option to show you how it works. So I've got my number one automatically. And I can do my type in and just like in the usual way when I press the enter key, it gives me number two. Now, instead of number three, I want this actually to be 2.1 instead of number three. So I just press the tab key, jumps across to the right, it indents itself and changes the numbering system to 2.1 and continues on that numbering system until I tell it otherwise. I use the tab key to jump that to the right. I can use shift tab to jump it back to the left. So you can see how that works. You can build up your numbering system. You can use a tab key as many times as you want. Well, there are actually nine layers that you can use it for. Rather than use the tab key, for example, instead this one 2.3, instead of that being 2.3, we want it to be 2.2.1. We can use the increase and decrease buttons on the toolbar. Increasing the indent will move that across 2.2.1 and decrease will move it to the left. And all the rest of the numbering adjusts itself accordingly. So number four, we might want that to be 3.1, so we increase the indent. One final thing to look at. If I go back into the menu system for bullets and numbering, and this time choose the custom button, customize button, you can see you can set up all those different levels, different number styles for each level, all your positions. Have a little look at that. You don't really need to be able to use those, but they're always worth having a look at. You should be having a look at everything. The main system is this using the outline numbered. Okay, have a play, see how you get on.